I'm gonna do a quick video with cover tanks. Remember, I'm not an instructor or anything like that. Uh, I do consider myself a professional. Uh, I'm licensed. And uh, a lot of my videos, they not 1,000% correct. A lot of people do things, you know, different or the way they want to do it. Uh, my videos are pretty much uh, general, you know, at least get you through it. Uh, but I try to do things the correct way. Uh, even the simple things of safety. When you're dealing with refrigerant, I always wear your uh, safety glasses. I always have your gloves on. When you're out in the field, you should have steel toe boots. Um, but with that being said, these are recovery tanks. And these are the, for, you know, the beginner, the green guys that uh, trying to get into the trade. A lot of this stuff, when I first got into the trade, ain't nobody said I kind of had to figure it out myself. Uh, but a lot of people, uh, questions, I mean, I used to wonder how many pounds I could get in here. A lot of people did tell me 80%, you know, then you start, gotta start dealing with the math as far as, you know, what is 80%. Uh, rule of thumb for me on these size cylinders, these, these are 28 uh, pound cylinders. So I put it on a scale, they like anywhere between, I got 27, 15 to 28. I always just use the rule of thumb of 28. This thing empty, see it got the tape on it. This side cylinder weighs 28 pounds itself with nothing in it. Okay. And if you look right here on, on all these uh, refrigerant drums, recovery tanks, if you, when you see that WC right there, it's going to tell you how much, that's your 80% right there basically going to tell you how much refrigerant can be in here 47.7 i don't know how if you can see that well but it, it usually indented engraved on all of them 47.7 that's how much uh you can put in here like i said i i like to uh, use a rule of thumb i get 40 pounds in here i'm good uh hopefully i, I got some more and i can just put some more in uh, use another drum but i never go over 40 um, I put 50 in it before. When you do 50 and 28, that's just the whole drum gonna weigh like 80 pounds. Close, 78, or somewhere up in there. Um, like I said, the WC 47.7, that's the max uh, refrigerant that you can put in here. 47.7. Uh, if you see this 28 right here, 28. That's how much this drum weigh. That's a tear weight. TW, that's a tear weight. 28 pounds. Uh, all of them have a serial number on it, so it can be traced back to uh, the manufacturer. But like I say, it weighs 28 and 47. So 28 and 47, if, if, you, if you add that up, 28 plus 47, a 75 pounds if you fill this up the max it's gonna be 75 pounds all right that's just a quick rule of thumb this one that i already been using i got r22 in here um like i say rule of thumb i just put 28 pounds uh i say this thing weighs 28 pounds so i got my scale on zero right now if if i I, this gonna let me know how much refrigerant I got in here. Okay, it's 64, so I just do 64 minus 28. 64 minus 28. See, it's 36 pounds in here. Okay, I usually get a label and, and mark it as uh, uh, 22. So. Got my label, so and you never want to mix refrigerant. You always want to mark it. Never want to put uh, R22 or 410 or any other type of refrigerant. So I always just get these labels and I mark them. So I, I won't get mixed up. Or the supply house that I'm giving it to, or 
If I want to reuse it, I know exactly what's in there. I bought these for centuries only about five, ten bucks a pack for a pack of them. Uh, they are 22 and 14. Uh, let me take this off. So, the, it, it, as far as the color codes, this one, this red is a liquid, and the blue is for vapor. Some manufacturers, like say, to go back to a serial number, have a serial number on it. Uh, can't hardly see this one, but uh, the EPA or whoever deal with that know, know where this come from. Some people do it different. Some blue would say liquid. Some blue, uh, some uh, red would say vapor. So don't get tied up in there. So e each one, I bet if I open this one up, which I don't want to open up because I know it's unused, but I can go to another and it'll, it'll be different. So, but for the liquid, it pretty much has got a straw that goes all the way down to the bottom. And that'll be your liquid refrigerant. Because as you're filling this up, be liquid on top and, and vapor at the bottom. And this, this uh, the vapor, it'll be a, maybe a little stem it, you know, a little short stem that is only getting uh, refrigerant from the top. So, uh, some people do it different. I like to recover mine uh, from the uh, liquid side. And then when I'm charging up the unit, when I pull my vacuum, I open my, uh, I open my, my high side up with the unit off, with the compressor got to be off. And I just uh, charge my system as a liquid. And I'm always weighing it in with my scale. Uh, just say if this system right here holds 163 pounds, I think I use like four or five recovery tanks because I recovered everything. So I'm just pretty much just weighing it in. Like I said, I try to do a rule of thumb when I recover, just 40, 40 pound max. So if I know I got four bottles, that's what's that? Uh, 40 times 4 that's 160 right there uh, if you put 40 in here it's going to be hard to get 40 out of here or you can get it out but it's going to take time so as long as you get like 37 38 you can move to the next bottle if, you know if you're dealing with that that, that much refrigerant and then you might have to put you some uh, virgin uh, Version that being unused refrigerant in, you know, to, to top it off. But uh, I hope that answers some questions. That's like I say, just use the rule of thumb. Never put over uh, the, the recommended amount in here. And and if, even if you do, see, this it's got a pressure relief uh, valve on here. So if you put about 60 pounds up in here, and if it can't handle it. Uh, this going to open up and you're going to lose your refrigerant uh, until it closes back up. Uh, sometimes, sometimes these things leak, so uh, be good to do a leak check. Never put nitrogen and anything like that up in there. Uh, if you want to reuse them, you can get much refrigerant out as you can and pull a vacuum on it yourself. Like I say, that, that's just a little quick quick uh, video of what I know about uh, recovery tanks. I 